Hey and well met friends, Andang here for another episode of Sinchil Gondor. When we last left off, we were collecting from fish places and we did all that, and where we found a dead Gondorian wash up along the shore. It looks like this man died very recently, but you cannot deduce the cause of death. Well, that's kind of not good. So we have people just randomly dying now. That cannot be good at all. Alright, well, let's make our way back into town and hopefully discover the cause of this death that's happening amongst the townspeople. Alright, town guard. These are troublesome times indeed. White Mountain Orcs patrol the Vale. Ethring is a small village without the means to defend against large-scale attacks. The orcs will flee if their numbers dwindle. Defeating these vile creatures may help us secure the safety of the town. Oh, that's the same bounty again. I don't want to do that, buddy. Come on. Okay, let's go speak with this person. How may I help you, friend? A body has washed up th th on the riverbank? This is disturbing news, as Ethring has not seen an unnatural death in many years. You explain that you are not sure how the man died, or if it was a murder. I see. Perhaps one of the few villagers who have been walking about these last days knows something about this man's death. What has become of our lords in the east, I wonder? Unfortunately, I have more pressing matters to attend to than learning about the death of one of my people. These are difficult times. Many of the townsfolk have gathered in our tavern. Perhaps speaking to them will clear up some of this mystery. I wish you luck and dearly hope that this man was not slain by someone in this town. These are troublesome times indeed. I am Lariand, wife of Avinthor. My husband has returned, and I am glad that he is safe. Thank you for aiding him. Avinthor should not worry of Ethring. In Bror Hador's reclusiveness, I have taken it upon myself to organize the village defenses with what little resources we have. I have men upon the beacon of Elendorf on lookout for attacking orcs. Our woodworkers have been tasked with making barricades and placing them at the town's four entrances. Okay. So that happened. Let's see here. There's another quest supposedly over in this general direction. But we're not going to worry about that right now. We are going to make our way back outside the city and discover what this person wants. The shadow may be unrelenting, but we will not cower before it. Thank you for teaching the orcs. We will not allow them to overrun the Vale. Whether that lesson proves more convincing than that they are given by continuing night that blankets of the sky, well, we will have to see. If the darkness does not evade, we will need to keep store of tinder with which to light the torches of Ethring. Please take out some of the wood you have collected and relight any of the torches that have gone out. The shadow may be unrelenting, but we will not cower before it. We will drive it back with light wherever we are able. Alright, so now we get to do the very heroic task of lighting beacons. Now where is this extra piece of hope? That's what I'm really curious about. Okay, here we go. There we go. 
That's this place is very well lit. I don't know what that guy is afraid of. All right, let's see here. There's okay inside this tavern. There should be someone to talk to. Just general rule to go inside the tavern. Hello, patron. These are troublesome times indeed. You ask the patron if he knows anything about the body you recently found. I I'm a little confused. You think I know something? Look, I come here every evening to have a pint. That's all I know. You should speak with the barkeep. He's a good man. Keeps me from getting too thirsty. He knows the whole lot of the town. Everyone who comes through Ethring stops here. I wish I could help more, really. A little belligerent, you are fairly certain of the patron's innocence. I greet you, friend. Hello there, stranger. What ails you? Perhaps some ethering ale? You ask the barkeep if he knows anything about the body you recently found. Well, this is a sad day. Business has been a little slower recently, with most of the town off to war and... No merchants have come through in days. I can't afford to lose many more patrons. You say he washed up on the river? Hmm. You know, I haven't seen many travelers as of late, but there is one here right now. He's an odd fellow. No Gondorian I've seen, I've ever seen, but he pays well and seems friendly enough. Maybe you should speak with him. He just came into town from Lamadon, and may have seen things on his travels. Best of luck to you, my friend. Thank you, I guess. Ah, uh, yes, Jajax, once more. This is intolerable. Ha <laughs> ha, if it isn't my friend Andang. This is an unexpected surprise to see you here again. After our last adventure together, I needed a bit of a break. Did you as well? <laughs> Some kind of fellow in Kalimbel told me about the sleepy town of Ethring. The cities in Gondor are too big. Way too big. This is the truth. I like the woods and quiet. But en enough about me. What have you been up to? Let us drink together and share our adventure. Alright, Gondorian ale. You know, already in this update, I think I've drink drank more than we have anywhere else in Lotro. Forgetting for a moment about the body, you start telling Jajax a story of your most recent adventure. Oh, how crazy would it be if he killed him? What is this world coming Remembering to? again your task at hand, you ask Jajax if he knows anything about the body you recently found. This does not sound so like something that I am interested in, my friend. Please do not bother me with these things. Talk about something more interesting, such as sailing ships or climbing mountains. Jajax seems to be deflecting your questions, but perhaps he is just tired from his recent battles. Or perhaps he killed a man. That is the real question. All right. Whoa, bear. Gondor needs your aid. Quickly, orcs have been spotted around Ethring. We must protect the village. To arms. Okay. These That's are great. troublesome times indeed. Corsairs, strange armies, now darkened skies. Greetings again. What would have you on Ethring's mysterious death? I see. No one speaks about it. You say a friend of yours is in the tavern and has not answered your questions? That seems odd. Might you try reasoning with him to answer you? If he does not, I may have I may need to have him seized until we resolve this death. Lirand wants to Jax to tell you what he knows of the body. For, for Jajak's freedom may be at stake. This is intolerable. Ah, <laughs> friend, you have returned. 
Have you another drink with me? You explain to Jajax that he must tell you if, if he knows anything about the body by the river, for Lithirian will lock him up if he does not speak. An idle threat, but I do not want to cause trouble in this town, for I like this place. In a quieter voice, Jajax asks you to lean in closer, so he may speak with you. I did not want to get involved in this, but I will tell you what I know, and no more. After the skies grew dark, I made my way to Ethering. The woods were made of blackness from the starless sky. Only torchlight guided my way. As I approached Ethering, I saw a man in the woods. He was white as a ghost, and not even moving. I'll not be ignored. The man I saw and the man you found may be the same. I urge you to take a closer look at the body, but don't get me and more involved than I already am, for I am not yet ready to travel further east. A case of fear. That's quite the quest name. All right, we still need to be relighting torches. That's a fun quest. Um, mailbox. Where are the torches? That's what I want to know. There's something over here. A chicken egg. Oh, that's great. Let's pick that up. The chickens are still productive, laying eggs for the village. Well, that's great to know. It's the real pressing questions. All right, let's make our way into whatever this is over here. Bring signs of hope to whoever. Well, we shall do just that. We woke this morning to no sun, no light of day. Yes, yes. What is the meaning of this? These things are meant to cheer me up. <laughs> this is foolish. It is not a simple matter of waning prosperity in my veil. But perhaps you could be useful as I admire your persistence. In some ways, you remind me of my wife, Alwyn. Rest her soul. She loved this veil until her death. Will we ever see the sun again? When my son, Dervion, answered the call in my stead, I promised to keep the beacon of Elrendoth burning bright in his absence. The beacon's light signifies my son's safe return. I fear the darkness that has swept over this land is choking the beacon's flame. The air we breathe is growing stale. If the flame falls, surely we will next. The beacon has been slowly waning. I see it dim with each passing day. Of course, could be my eyes, not what they used to be. Will you tend to the beacon? I will be grateful if you are able to restore its light to the former brilliance I remember. I assure you, Ethring could use the light in this hour. All right, old man. I will go and light beacons for the sake of the city. But that will have to wait till next episode. Thank you guys so much for watching another episode of Central Gondor. When we return, we will hopefully fend off the attacks here in this first city and maybe light a few beacons. But till then, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you again real soon for another episode of Central Gondor. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, feel free to hit the like button below. And if you'd like to see more of my daily content, feel free to subscribe, and you'll be notified when that new content comes out. And also, if you'd like to help support my channel, and help me continue to create high-quality videos, feel free to support me on Patreon, and you can get all sorts of great rewards in the process. 
So thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you again real soon for another video.